Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. This beginner workout is going to be a total body hit workout. So we're going to take some cardio, we're going to take some strength, and we're going to go between those two. Your format for the workout is going to be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to transition. Okay, I'm going to make it a no repeat workout so no one's getting bored today. I'll start you with a warm up, we'll end with a cool down, and if you like the beginner workouts, I now release every Sunday. There's a playlist, check the card at the top of the screen and click another one for some other time this week. All right, let's do this. Let's move daily. All right, hit intervals on my watch. Let's start with a little reach side to side here. Get things warmed up. Get her going. We'll start with cardio just to get the heart rates up a little bit more as well. Good. Up and over here. Reach. All right, stay wide here. We're gonna touch our toes. Reach the other hand up toward the ceiling. Stretch in the chest. If you can't touch your toe, you're touching your knee or your shin. Stay in this position. Let's do a little side to side lunge. All right, just get that in your thigh warm up here. One more side. All right, come to standing. Big circles here. Reach your arms back. Tap it out. directions. Good. And we'll squat. Overhead reach right here. Big stretch. Here. Now we'll take it wide and low, opening the chest. All right, stay wide. We'll finish off with this little torso stretch. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Your elbows up though. Okay, we're gonna start with a walk around the room. Nice hearty walk. Put your walking shoes on. You're like, I have the shoes on, I have on, Tracy. I'm <laughs> not switching. Don't switch. Okay, walking about, shoulders back, nice and tall. Here we go. Let's go. Get heart rate up. Get those arms Back 
five seconds. All right, stay here. We're gonna add some arms for the cardio. All right, I want you out here. We're gonna tap the shoulders and back. Ready, and here we go. Heel tap, tap, pick up your pace. Twos or threes if you like. Okay, very good. Moving into a crush complex. You're gonna do a hammer curl, shoulder press, overhead tricep extension. Knees are soft, shoulders back. Here we go. Curl, press, elbows stay close, and return. Press, bend at the elbow. Here's your side view. Knees are soft. Curl, elbow up, in, and down. Keep going. pulse. Halfway we'll shake it out and move it to a squat pulse. So wide position, drop it low here. We're pulsing. Here we go. Little pulses just like that. Shoulders back and tall. Heart rate should be climbing especially with these iso holds here. Uses a lot of energy. In four, three, two, Shake it out right here. We're gonna go down into the squat. Ready, pulse right here and the low. That's it. Make sure you're doing nice deep breathing through the nose. Slow exhale. Stay in the pocket. You've got five seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Kick it out. Shake those legs out. Grabbing light weights again. We're gonna do a step back, kick out right like this. All right, twos, threes, fives, or no weight works. Here we go, step and kick. Elbows stay a little bit high, we're working those triceps. Backwards, one, two, three, four. If you're not comfortable traveling, stay in the same spot, okay? Two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, front.
Okay, shake that out, very good. Twos, threes, or fives. We're gonna move into a side lateral combo. One arm is up to the side, one comes to the front, both are 90 degrees. Shoulders back, pop it here, switch, here, switch. Good. Soft, pop it up. Good, you're halfway. What I don't want to see is your torso rocking side to side. Keep it facing me. Keep your chin up. down. Moving into your three-point squat. So you insert an arrow, feet together, low, a little bit wider, a little bit wider, a little bit narrow and narrow, then we'll switch sides. Here we go. Narrow, a little bit wider, wider, and switch sides. Two, one, two, switch sides. One, two, one, two, and switch. Stay low. Yeah, use the burn. You can stand up and shake it out if you need. Otherwise, stay low. Yeah, leave your legs alone. Next exercise, give you a little bit of a reprieve for a second. Four, three, two, one, shake that out. Oh, that's a good burn. Okay. Moving into a bicep curl, palms facing, reverse grip press. Knees are soft, watch your mouth. Here we go. Curl, press. All right. If it's too hard to do the press part, you're just here with the bicep curl, okay? Otherwise, you're here. Press. Start to swing at the bottom. need a longer break or join me back when I go back. In four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Grab a drink. Torso facing me though, palm faces the ceiling. So curl it here, now switch. Good, flex at the top.
I have little punches coming up. If you want to hold dumbbells, feel free. I think I will. Just to increase the tension a bit. Great. We're going to grab fives. We're going to go twos, threes, or no dumbbells for our high low punch. All right, so you're high. Watch your face. High, low, low. All right, here we go. Up. Low, low. Good little bicep exercise. If you're holding weights as well. Television. Oh my goodness. Dumbbell would smash it, that's for sure. facing your thighs. We're going to come up to 90 and down. Pinky high. Here we go. Pop it here. Here. You don't want to come above 90 degrees there. That is fine. Three, 
two, and a one. Okay, last exercise here. Weights again. We're gonna squat, alternating shoulder press. Okay, at the top, squat thrust, alternating sides. Drop those glutes nice and low to get low. Single side here, now switch. here and then stay for a stretch if you can lengthen all these muscles back out last four three two one and done you've moved daily in your no repeat hit workout thanks for joining and join for a stretch if you can well done everyone we're going to take our stretching to the ground today. I want to start you off in this 90-90 position. It's a great glute and hip stretch. Great mobility exercise as well. Uh, front knees at 90 degrees, back legs at 90. And we're going to hinge forward and just camp out right here. Great lower lumbar stretch, great glute stretch. Good hip opener as well. Something like this would be if you have hip issues, you know, like you're so tight in your hips. Um, and come and sit up and turn to that trail leg. Stretch that out. Uh, this would be good to do quite regularly just to open that up. Okay, one more time, down to the lead leg. Just gonna turn so you can see my dynamic here. And up and turn to the trail leg. Okay, you see that 90-90. Now, you're gonna put your hands behind you on the ground and we're gonna rotate here. Just getting some hip opening. Nice and slow. Okay, you can put your feet closer Exercise together. Right closed. <laughs> Was my phone talking. You can put your uh, feet closer together, makes it slightly easier. Just give me that rock side to side there. Okay, one more each side here. Oh, that's a good one. And let's camp out on this other side that you haven't done down to your lead leg. Stretch right there. Very good. Oh yeah, that feels quite good. <laughs> Come to seated and your trail leg right here. Drop your shoulders. Very good. Okay, another one that's great for hips too is this bear position or birthing position. Feet are down. And I just want you to sort of leave your heels there and just open up side to side in the groin and the hips. Again, if you have tight hips, this is a great exercise to do regularly. We're gonna just lie on the back, feet or get down on the ground, arms up to the side, let's let those legs gently fall to one side. Okay, just stretching in the torso, stretching in our chest. I want you to keep your shoulders on the ground there. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Hold for a second and slowly let the legs fall the other way. Oh, Nelly, that is tight, Trace. Look at that. Someone needs to do our stretches. <laughs> That'd be me. I haven't foam rolled in a while and I really do like that as well. I, I need to get that back on the list. In this position, let's grab the calf, flex your foot, and we'll stretch that hamstring a little bit. Okay, just lengthening through there. Hold that. Good. Oh, yeah. Now, it is really important to do. I think some of us just don't find a lot of good bang for our buck, or we think, oh, it's a time waster, but switch sides. It's going to make your squats better, your deadlifts better, your exercising, because you're going to be more flexible and be able to get into that range of motion a little bit better. That is the essence of mobility exercises. I do have a mobility stretch session on my YouTube channel, so if I remember, I'll link it at the end, and you can continue this a little bit more. Let's come to seated. Make sure you're not dizzy. We're going to reach across, stretch those lats, your back shoulder a little bit, and we're going to walk it right to the center. Reach down as far as you can. We're just stretching into your shoulders here and upper back. And let's move all the way across one more time right here. Very good. 
Okay, bring your hands behind your back, drop your shoulders, stretch through the chest. You can tilt your neck to one side there, nice and slow. And then gently move it to the other way. Feels awesome, doesn't it? Last stretch right here, round through the back. Thanks for joining everyone. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. If you like the beginner workouts, there is the playlist. If you want to join our beginner program in the membership, you can click or tap there. I write a beginner program every single week, give you exercises and workouts for every day of the week. Well, we, we give you two days off, so five out of the seven, plus coaching in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. All right, see ya in the next workout.